the Notary to Notary tutorial on how to use notaryassist.com. This is a software that we recommend most notaries use um, through our training at the Notary to Notary website. Welcome to the Notary to Notary training on how to use Notary Assist. So Notary Assist is a software that helps notaries manage their businesses effectively. It's been around since 2007. I personally have been using it since 2014. Um, it helps you track your expenses, track your mileage, generate reports, keep track of signings, which is really important because you do not want to miss signings as a notary, as a signing agent, because it will hurt your business, especially um, if you're a new signing agent in the industry. You want to um, build good relationships right out the gate. So Notary Assist, basically you go to notaryassist.com, click the register now button, and you basically fill out this information. So email address, password, name, address, agree with terms and conditions. It does give you the option to sign up for a 30 day free trial, no credit card required. It also gives you a discount when you pay annually, which we'll go over more towards the end of the video. I am gonna put the link to this video in the description as well as a coupon code to have you get an additional discount on top of that. So I have already made an account. I'm gonna go ahead and sign in now. Okay, so when you come into the main dashboard, this is what you'll see. It'll say um, your name here. This is just here because you haven't subscribed yet. Your next signing. It'll also have this timetable here, which shows you the signs that you've completed or that you have upcoming. So I went ahead and put in two signings just so you can see what it would look like, and I'm gonna show you how I did that. So basically, this little bar here shows you the amount of signs you've done for the year. The amount of money you've made for the year and the amount of um, income is still you're still waiting on this so it's unpaid income and then the total so this is what you've actually received this is what you're waiting on and then this is your total it also breaks it down to a pie chart your expenses um, and your income so let's jump right in the first one is to view signings the view signing shows you all of your signings so you can break it down by month, by week, by day, what do you want to see? I just kept it on this year, so you can keep track like that. It has the date of the signing, the time, the borrower, the location, the client who hired you, that which is like the signing company or the title escrow company or whoever hired you to do the signing, the amount that's um, supposed to be paid to you. This invoice sent date is if you actually sent an invoice to them. Um, a lot of times you don't have to do that, but if you did, you can put that in here. Invoice paid date is when you actually receive your payment. So whether that was by check or direct deposit or cash, however you got it, goes here. Okay, so let's go to new signing so I can show you how to create a signing. So let's say you have a signing for Thursday at 11 o'clock. And let's say they're going to pay you $150 to do this signing. You can also put the borrower's name in there. So the person that you're meeting, the signer. So let's say it's Thomas. You can put in the address, the first name. You can just say um, Andy Thomas. <laughs> um, contact um, would be the signers as well. If you want to put their phone numbers in there, you can do that. Invoicing. Um, this is another area where you can put it invoice date and payment date. I find it easier to do it on the, the screen we were previously on. Tracking is if you want to put the tracking number um, for the package that you've dropped. I don't put all of this in on mine personally, but it just depends on how detailed you want to be. And then notes. So here you can put when your expected payout is. So you can put expected payout. Let's say they do a 30-day payout. So 11 2019 That way you'll know when to follow up. Okay. So now that I added that, it just populated below. Oh, you know what I did forget here? With the customer. So the customer is basically the client that hired you. So let's say a new client hired us. Let's say um, ABC um, title hired us for this one. Okay. So that's going to generate here. And we're going to save it. So now you have two signings that you did for a one, two, three title. And you have one sign that you did through ABC title. And it's important to keep track because as you're going through, you're going to get a lot of clients, a lot of hiring companies that are going to send you different jobs. And you need to keep track of who's supposed to pay you. And this is the best software out there for notaries to keep track of that information. 
Okay, so as you add the signings, oh, this is how you put if you, when you get paid. You just put, um, I was paid on the 25th, this amount. You can put a check number in if you want to. Just put check number 101 and save. So once that generates, which it should do in a second, okay, do you see how this changed? So now this is what you've been paid. This is what your unpaid balance is, okay? So you can also put, uh, I want to see who hasn't paid me yet. And it'll show you, okay, this is who hasn't paid me yet. And you can see, well, when is it due? And you can look, check, you know, look back in your files and see when's it due. And you can always reach out to them and say, okay, well, I did a signing for you um, on 1023 for a client named Brown in Midlothian. I'm supposed to be paid out $100. I was just calling to do a follow-up call to see when payment would be made or if it had been made, you know, just to see, just let them know you hadn't received it, okay? So the calendar just breaks down your signs you have upcoming. Customers are your hiring companies or your escrow companies or whoever it is that is hiring, whoever is paying you to do it, okay? You put those in here. You can always just add a new customer. If you want, just click new customer. It'll generate this information. You just put in the name, address, phone number of that new customer, and it would go on this list here. I like this feature because if I have a list of, let's say, 20 customers, and I don't, I've noticed that I haven't gotten any from two or three of them, I can always reach out to them and, you know, just touch base. You want to build a good relationship, but it keeps, it helps you keep track of who's hired you in the past. And you want to keep those relationships fresh so that we can continue to get more work from them. Now, the expenses portion is amazing. So I went ahead and just added in staples. Let's say you went to staples and you spent $100 on ink, right? And I just put that as a one-time expense. And then I went ahead and added in Wawa as a gas station <laughs> that I love. And let's say that you spent $100 on gas, but I put that as a recurring expense. So what's going to happen is it's going to generate Wawa each week. I set it as you can put it recurring each week, each month. But um, so now it's going to generate each week. Wawa is an expense of $100. Okay. That's going to be very good when you go to your report. So. Your expense report is going to show you what you've what you've spent your money on, and it's going to you can pick like when the time frames you want it to show, and it will generate report. It's actually printable, like savable and printable, so you can use it for income reporting purposes. The profit and loss statement is also on here. You can use that for income reporting purposes, which will just show you your profit and your expenses. Your profit, I'm sorry. Your profit minus your expenses, which will be your net income, which will be great for um, showing your, uh, your profit. So tax report, same concept. All these reports can be used for tax time as well. Mileage, you can go ahead and, and add in any extra mileage that you've driven. You can add the mileage in when you do the signing, when you create the signing. But if you want, if, say you forget to add it or you just want to do like a general mileage count each week, you can put that in here. Okay. And if you go to settings, you can change any of these features. It also um, will sync to Google Calendar, which is really awesome because I use Google Calendar and iCalendar. So you do also have this cool tool, which is the Recision Calendar. The rescission calendar it basically calculates the three-day rescission period for most uh, refinances. So if a client, if you're ever with a client and they want to get their three-day right to cancel and you can't locate the document for some reason because it's usually in the packet, then you can just open your app and say, okay, we're closing today. It, it ends on October 24th. Okay, so just an extra tool in here. You can also add a suggestion, report a bug, and that's basically how you use Notary Assist. Now, if you go to my account, it just shows you your basic information and also shows you your billing. So I set it up for a trial so that way you can see how to use it. But if you want to do a plan, it's $7.99 a month or $84.99 for the year and you get additional discount when you do the, um, the year subscription. Plus, if you use coupon code N2N, which stands for notary to notary, you get an additional discount, which is awesome. So be sure that you register for the annual because you're going to end up using it and loving it and you don't want to be stuck in the paying $7.99 per month because you'll end up paying more for it at the end of the day once the year is up. 
So go ahead and pick the per year, put in that coupon code end to end, your credit card information, agree with terms and conditions, and subscribe. So guys, that's basically it on how to use Notary Assist, a wonderful, wonderful tool to keep track of your signings and any notary appointments that you have. For more information like this, find us at notarytonotary.com. So be sure to like, share, and comment on this video, and be sure to subscribe to the channel, notarytonotary.com is where you would register if you want to take the course and join the program. In the meantime, just continue to watch videos, like, share, subscribe.